Hey, I'm so hyped. Google just dropped a bombshell. And what they're doing is going for it. They are going for it. Google finally gave some official news on the Pixel 6 and the Pixel 6 Pro. And looking at the situation, they're like, yeah, forget what everyone is saying, yeah? Forget everything that you've seen before. We're showing you, yeah? We're gonna be kings of Android. And boy, am I excited by what I'm seeing about the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. This is my initial thoughts and reaction to what Google just dropped right now. Let's go. I'm Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this and you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. So yeah, the team over at Made by Google, I just saw some tweets on Twitter about news on Pixel phones. And then they said Pixel 6, and I saw videos dropping from The Verge, MKBHD, and I thought, yo, I need to jump on this and give my two cents because it looks like Google are really going for it, man. Let's start from the outside in. There's two models. You've got the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Yes, those are the official names. And those are the ones that they're going for. Three different colors. And it looks very interesting because the Pixel 6 definitely is going for a much more interesting, more exciting colors very, versus the Pixel 6 Pro, which seems a bit more subdued. You've got matte rails on this Pixel 6, which I'm gonna be a fan of, and you've got the glossy rails on the Pixel 6 Pro. You've got three different colors on each side, and there's one particular color, I think there's like a coral orange color or pink color that looks to only be exclusive on the Pixel 6. But yeah, this is looking interesting. And yeah, it looks like what the leaks were saying about the design and how they look is looking very distinctive because there is a camera strip right at the back of each. And in terms of the cameras, man, we'll talk about that later, but it looks like they really stepped up. And yo, the design is looking very striking. You've got flat display on the Pixel 6, slightly curved on the Pixel 6 Pro, and the Pixel 6 Pro is gonna be slightly bigger. You know what, yeah, we've talked about the size and the footprint, the design. It looks interesting. It looks like they're using glass, metal, Google look like they're going through it when it comes to the premium. And I love that. I love what I'm seeing here. This is good. This is good. But you know what? Cool. We talked about the design. As much info as Google have given us with the renders and all the stuff and whatnot. Yeah, I'm hyped as you can see. Display. And as someone that values a really good display experience, thank you, Google. On paper, they're going for it. Pixel 6, flat display, 6.4 inches, full high definition plus display, 90 hertz AMOLED. That's what they've got there. Now, Pixel 6 Pro, which is physically the biggest pixel ever made at the minute, right? 6.7 inches, quad high definition plus 120 hertz. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Yeah, 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 I'm feeling that. Now, let's, let's obviously calm down a bit. Let me not make it seem like I'm hyping up the pixel. I don't have the devices. I've not seen it. I'm going by what I'm seeing in terms of what they've dropped. We don't know things like color accuracy. We don't know how brightness is going to perform. So let's be skeptical enough to think what we've got to think in terms of it as well. Touch response, brightness, color accuracy, how pronounced the curve is going to be, we don't know. But slim bezels all around, single hole punch at the top, and it's looking decent. And on top of that, they've put an in-display fingerprint scanner in there. And I know for a fact, Google would have dealt with the haptics and made sure that the haptics are patterned up. So I'm excited for this one, I can't lie. I'm gassed for this one. The display is looking nice. But here's where the fun stuff begins. Performance and specs. And this is where Google have kind of shocked it. And I know the rumors are really saying it, talking about the Whitechapel chip, but it's official. It's called the custom-made Google Tensor System on a Chip. Yep, T-E-N-S-O-R, Tensor System on a Chip. This is what Google are doing. And this is the trump card that we've been waiting for Google to do in terms of taking things in-house and really incentivizing Google Pixel users for that long-term experience, for that optimization that you should be getting. Android in its truest and purest form, Google are taking that back. Oh, yeah, 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 I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this, I'm feeling this. Now, I won't go into too much details. What they've given it's all about them designing their own chipset, not just for longer term optimization. Like we're talking about Google finally putting a stamp down and giving things like half a decade worth of software performance. But it's all about the algorithm, the pipeline processing when it comes to things like performance, 
battery efficiency, background processes, image signal processing, and getting into things like how it performs with the camera, not just for pictures, but finally also for video, as well as AI capabilities. What it looks like Google are saying is that they want to make sure that the AI capabilities are still on par with what you expect in a system on a chip. When, it talks, when you think about things like CPU performance, GPU performance, graphics performance, all of that stuff, they want to make sure that the AI matches to it. And if there's one thing that Google are good at is computational AI, yeah? If we've seen what we've done with pictures and what they've been able to do, boy, I'm looking forward to this. And this even steps things up into what section? the cameras yeah as someone that does a lot of ultimate camera comparisons on the channel yeah i'm interested to finally see google bring new hardware since the pixel 2 and this isn't just going to affect pictures but it's going to affect videos from what they're saying as well pixel 6 dual cameras at the rear so no redundant cameras in there ultra wide and a wide and then you've got the pixel 6 pro triple camera wide ultra wide and a 4x optical zoom with a periscope technology from what they're saying as well. Not much information on the selfie camera, hopefully high resolution enough to be able to accept and do 4K video. But what they're saying is the focus on video, right? And what Google was saying is apparently there's gonna be 150% 100, more light that comes in because there's new sensors. Now, let's slow down. We don't know megapixel counts. We don't know the sensor types. We don't know the sensor sizes. We don't know what it has in terms of OIS laser autofocus, time of flight. We don't know those stuff yet. There's more details that's gonna come later on in autumn or fall as some people like to call it. But I'm excited to finally see since the Pixel 2 new camera sensors on the rear, that might just put Google back on the crown when it comes to photography kin. But from what I'm seeing with this tensor cores, with the image signal processing pipeline, from what they're saying with video performance, boy, I'm eager to see it. Are we going to be getting things like 8K video recording? I don't know, but I trust it that Google are going to step up enough for us to be like, yo, Google, you're back in the game when it comes to it, man. So yeah, new camera sensors. Now, the last remaining stuff here is very, very up in the air. Now, one thing we do know is software wise, it's going to be Android 12 out the gate. It's the showcase, man. And we saw a lot of the showcase of Android 12 at Google I.O., the new interface changes, the smooth UI, the much better optimization to software, to hardware, so that even all the Google devices can still benefit from the performance increase that you get, as well as the new features. So I won't bore too much out of there because we know about Android 12 already. What else don't we do? We don't know much about the battery in terms of capacity, charging speeds, battery features that you've got. We don't know anything about that. So we're gonna have to wait until the fall, but I trust if there's any level of the optimization that they had with the Pixel 5 being a battery champ, yeah, I'm eager to see what Google have got to offer when it comes to this. But one thing they're stamping down is it's a premium phone, meaning it's going to come with a premium price. But hold on a minute. Look, let's deep it now. Google are making their own system on the chips in terms of design, right? And if they can cut the middleman of having to negotiate with, um, you know, chip makers like Qualcomm and stuff, I'm hoping the end user, us end users that buy it, can see that price reduction, like hopefully as it goes to scale and newer generations keep coming out. But Google, you're going for it. That's what I'm happy about. Yes, I'm skeptical about things like when it comes to the display experience, the brightness, color accuracy, touch response, haptics, right? Camera, Google's track record when it comes to video, still up in the air, but this is looking promising from what people are saying because we've got newer sensors and I know photography, track record has been good, so I know they're gonna bring the heat back in again. Battery, we don't know the performance. We don't know the price. There's still a lot of things up in the air, right? Availability, so many different things. But Google, I'm so glad you're just going for it. Whatever's gonna work out, I don't know, but I'm just glad you're going for it and coming for the flagship scene. Now, there's been stuff about Google Pixel availability with certain devices coming into different regions. But please, me that I'm based in the UK, us lot, make sure we're on the same par. Make sure we're getting both. Make sure all the main carriers are getting it. I want in, right? And I want to test this, really see what it's about. But this is looking exciting. And I don't want to be the hype guy to be like, oh, be hype for the Pixel 6 and this is that and whatnot and Team Pixel and whatnot. But I just like competition. And with Phone manufacturers like LG leaving a game and whatnot, we need competition more than ever. So please, Google, don't fumble this one because you've got me very intrigued. 
Yeah, man, that's my initial thoughts and reaction to the Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro. Let me know, are you hyped about the Pixel 6 series? What's your thoughts? Is this something you're going to get from the jump or you want to see more when it comes to the Ormond 4? That's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. If you enjoy videos like this, you know exactly what to do, man. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you're part of Team TLS, the Tech Lover Squad, so you don't miss any future videos on the channel. I hope you're all safe during this time. I will catch you in the next one. Peace.